Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. Although fairy tales don't really exist in our world, there is still a way to get a taste of the magical and charming tales we heard and read about as children through castles. And on that mystical note, let us get into 10 astonishing castles that you can buy. Number 10, Windsor Castle. It would almost be wrong not to include this entry on the list. The oldest and largest inhabited castle in the world, Windsor Castle, has acted as an official royal residence for the United Kingdom monarchy for more than 900 years. William the Conqueror began building Windsor around 1070 as both a residence and a fortress to guard the western approach to London. The castle has seen many renovations from the countless monarchs that have lived on the property, including Queen Victoria and her own private chapel. In 1992, a fire ravaged the chapel along with more than 100 rooms damaged or destroyed. It wasn't until five years later that Windsor was fully restored to its original state. The property remains a favorite within the royal family, with a number of weddings being held at the ground's famous St. George's Chapel. Even Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip often escape to the quiet palace for restful weekends. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really worked. Number nine, Fredericksburg Castle. Located on three small isles on the Castle Lake, the breathtaking and infamous Fredericksburg Castle was built as a symbol of King Christian IV's power as the ruler of Denmark and Norway. The Renaissance Castle was known to be the official royal residence for more than 100 years before its original structure was destroyed in a fire in 1859. With only the chapel and the audience chamber surviving the flames, a nationwide lottery and collection were held to raise funds to rebuild the palace. After the royal family decided that they would no longer stay at the castle, Fredericksburg reopened in 1878 as the Museum of National History. Today, the world-renowned museum portrays and puts on display the history of Denmark through its impressive collection of portraits, historical paintings, and the interiors of the castle. Number 8. Penna National Palace This iconic palace was influenced by Middle Eastern and European Baroque styles. The Penna National Palace represents the eccentric and colorful flair of 19th century romanticism in Portugal. King Ferdinand II designed the castle on a hill in the Sintra Mountains to be a summer home for the Portuguese royal family. The vibrant shades decorating the outside indicate the palace's different sections, such as a red clock tower, restored convent, and a yellow new palace. The palace was frequently used by the royal family until the revolution of 1910 and the overthrowing of the Portuguese monarchy. After years of damage and neglect, the castle was finally restored in the 20th century and later classified as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Today, guests can hike up the castle's lush hilly landscape to explore the various architecture styles that make up the Penna Palace. Number 7. Schwerin Castle The origins of Schwerin Castle date back as far as 942, when the very first traces of a fortress could be found on the palace's dreamy island. It wasn't until 1847 when the Grand Duke Friedrich Franz II commissioned George Adolf Demmler to renovate the dated structure that the castle took its now permanent and forever popular form. The Grand Duke instructed Demmler to design a castle that felt modern and yet integrated designs and features from the stunning architecture and heritage of the past. This historic palace is now one of the most celebrated castles in Germany, with 653 rooms, including a throne room, outfitted with Carrara marble and gilded iron doors, along with an ancestral gallery. Visitors are invited to explore the castle's gardens and restaurants before venturing to explore its magical halls. But be warned, you may run into Schwerin's famed mischievous ghost, Peter, who is rumored to still reside in the castle. 
Number 6. Edinburgh Castle, Scotland Standing tall on the crags of Castle Rock, Edinburgh Castle exudes a grand sense of authority and nobility all throughout Scotland's capital. Archaeologists believe that man has occupied the castle site since the Iron Age, but its royal ties can only be traced back to the 12th century when King David I built the St. Margaret's Chapel in honor of his mother. Through the centuries, members of the monarchy repurposed the royal palace as a residence and military fortress. A notable decorative element remains above the door of the palace, the gilded initials M.A.H. for Mary, Queen of Scots, and her second husband, Henry Stuart, Lord Darnley. After the Union of the Crowns in 1603, Edinburgh Castle was reserved as a military base. In present day, guests are welcome to explore the various buildings and ancient artifacts of the Scottish monarchy, like the Stone of Destiny. Number 5. Himeji Castle The elegant gleaming white facade and jaw-dropping 17th century Japanese architecture earned Hijemi Castle the nickname White Heron Castle for its resemblance to a bird beginning to take flight. It was built in 1346 as a fortress against local shoguns. The complex, built above the inland seas, is comprised of 83 buildings with specialized systems of defense and protection devices. However, Himeji Castle was never used in battle, but instead repurposed as a more residential castle. In 1931, the Japanese government designated the site as a national treasure and a monumental example of medieval castle architecture. Guided tours are offered in both Japanese and English of Himeji and its vast, alluring cherry blossom garden. Number 4. Castel del Monte A lot of mystery surrounds the Castel del Monte and its purpose for being built. Emperor Friedrich II ordered the construction of the citadel in 1240 in a rather remote area of southern Italy with no means of protection. After it was built, the decorated emperor soon abandoned the castle, leaving behind many questions surrounding his intentions. Revered as a masterpiece of medieval architecture, the fortress's layout consists of an octagonal base and tower at each corner and eight trapezoidal rooms within. It's thought the geometric layout may have actually had a deeper symbolic meaning with references to the Holy Grail and the relationship between God and humanity. No matter what its original purpose might have been, the octagonal castle has become one of southern Italy's most visited landmarks and is now recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Number 3. Neuschwanstein Castle King Ludwig II of Bavaria had the Neuschwanstein Castle built in 1868 as an escape from the public eye and political turbulence. After Prussia conquered Austria and Bavaria during the Austro-Prussian War, Ludwig was effectively stripped of his powers, but still yearned for a kingdom of his own to rule. In a letter to his longtime friend, German composer Richard Wagner, Ludwig wrote about his vision for Neuschwanstein. He wanted there to be several cozy and habitable guest rooms, with a splendid view of the noble Sauling, the mountains of Tyrol, and far across the plain for the very revered guest he would choose to accommodate there. While Ludwig never got to see Neuschwanstein in its finished state, the castle of the fairy tale king opened to the public in 1886 and remains one of the most infamous in all of Europe. And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by one of our subscribers, so if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it on over to us. We might even feature it in a future video. Number 2. Back in 2015, a Photoshop created image of a house standing on top of a very narrow rock formation began circulating online. The image that viewers were then debating as a photograph of an abandoned house in England had been referred to under a variety of other titles over the years, such as Ireland's Castle House Island and the ideal zombie fortress. Although the photograph is obviously a digital creation, it's based off the combination of two real sites. It's a combined photo of the Liechtenstein Castle near baden württemberg Germany, and the one Koh Tapu, also known as Nail Island, in Thailand. 
The island goes by the nickname James Bond Island after it was featured in a scene from The Man with the Golden Gun. Number 1. Chateau de Chambord A magnificent example of French Renaissance architecture is Chateau de Chambord that boasts an impressive 440 rooms, 282 fireplaces, 84 staircases, and a decorative moat, making it one of the most fascinating structures built by the French monarchy. King Francois I began construction on the elaborate chateau in the Loire Valley as a weekend hunting retreat. Captivated by the astonishing work of Leonardo da Vinci, Francois insisted that elements of the castle, such as the double helix staircase, to be directly inspired by the Italian polymath. In the end, Francois ultimately found the monumental residence to be too grand and only stayed there for a few weekends throughout his reign. The castle instead served as a symbol of the French monarchy's power and everlasting influence. The Chateau de Chambord hosts loads of events throughout the year for visitors to learn about the history of the Renaissance marvel and even lights itself up during the holiday season with never-ending lights. Well, that concludes our list of 10 astonishing castles that you can buy. Let us know in the comment section below which of these you would love to live in yourself. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that bell icon. Thanks for watching!